okay hello guys welcome you all once again to this youtube channel today i'm back with it another video where i'm going to teach you some most important and excellent tricks from the chapter trigonometry do watch the complete video because I always say half knowledge is very dangerous i'm sure you'll be very much amazed after watching the complete video because i'm going to discuss some very important and useful tricks from the chapter trigonometry okay let's not waste the time let's start the video see you now the first question what I have taken here is the first model is cos square pi by 6 plus theta minus sin square pi by 6 minus theta. Am I right? Now whenever you come across this type of models, whenever you come across a format, a format of this type of formats question, then just see what format we have here cos square a minus sin square b. This is the format right? Now here what is a? pi by 6 plus theta what is b pi by 6 minus theta now how to approach this whenever you are given a question of this format then just first of all just open this now what we will be opening cos a plus b cos a minus b as i already told you a is pi by 6 plus theta and b is pi by 6 minus theta now here what we have to do is this is the formula this is the trick now a plus b pi by 6 plus theta plus pi by 6 minus theta here theta theta will get cancelled then what we will be left with is cos 2 pi by 6 am i right cos a plus b a is pi by 6 plus theta b is pi by 6 minus theta if we add them totally we will get 2 pi by 6 then again if we subtract a and b then what we will get 2 theta because here pi by 6 and pi by 6 will get cancelled and theta and theta gets add together so 2 theta we will be getting now we can cancel it to 3 is a 6 am i right now cos cos pi by 3 cos pi by 3 how much cos pi by 3 1 by 2 am i right cos pi by 3 is 1 by 2 here cos 2 theta this is your answer you can check in the option which option matches 1 to third option third option matches your answer that's all very simple right just remember this format if you remember this format easily any equation of this model easily we can solve right now next let us move on to the another type of model now here you can see cos 78 theta plus cos 42 theta now which type of format it is see again we have a shortcut trick whenever you are given this type of question this type of formats question cos 60 plus theta plus cos 60 minus theta then your answer will be cos theta obviously your answer will be cos theta now here you can observe what is their cos just at the below only i'll be writing 60 plus 18 am i right in 60 if we add 18 you will be getting 78 again here we have cos 60 minus 18 am i right we got this format right this format is very much similar to the question asked am i right so this format satisfy our answer now what is the answer cos theta here what is the theta what we have added cos 60 plus 18 60 minus 18 so your theta is 18 therefore your answer is cos 18 degree am i right that's all very simple now suppose suppose another model in the same question i'll be discussing if here any question okay if here any question in the in the given question if we have minus here okay instead of plus if we have minus then your final answer will be minus root of root 3 sin theta okay here in this type of format we have cos theta as our final answer theta here is 18 degree you can calculate easily next if we have minus in the question okay same format but minus then your final answer will be minus root 3 sin theta okay next let us move on to another type of model here what we have sin 78 degree minus sin 42 degree again the same same type of model but format is different here sin we have there we had cos again we will be dealing with the same type of formats question sin 60 plus theta minus sin 60 or 60 minus theta again same right what we have here sin 60 plus 18 degree minus sin 60 minus 18 degree now you got what is the theta what is the value of theta here 18 degree now what is the answer for this type of format the answer for this type of format is sin theta whereas whereas theta is equal to 18 degree now we can directly substitute sin 18 degree we can calculate suppose again the same same model if at the place of minus if we have plus then our final answer okay then our final answer would have been root 3 cos theta 
here we had minus root 3 sin theta similar a small change but here if they have given plus in this type of model where we include sin as a function then our our answer final answer will be root 3 cos theta okay see in the two type question in two questions i have discussed four models four types of sub questions i have discussed in two questions am i right so next let us move on to the next models of question see this is very amazing and very simple question now as you can see here what they have given here if cosecant theta minus cot theta is equal to 1 by root 3 they are asking cosecant theta plus cot theta what we have here we have here, here we have minus here we have plus as you can see this is complete like inverse case here for cosecant theta minus cot theta if it is 1 by 3 then obviously for cosecant theta plus cot theta as it is inverse then 1 by 1 by 1 by 3 or the inverse of 1 by 3 what is the inverse of 1 by 3 3 right so search in the option where is where 3 lies option number c c directly just by looking at the question itself within few seconds within one or two seconds you can answer it right just very small observation we need very keen observation we need especially solving maths problems right next let us move on to the another last important model see here if secant x plus tan data is equal to 2 let this be equation 1 what they have given secant x plus tan data is equal to 2 they are asking us to find secant x the value of secant x now this is equation 1 but we know secant x minus tan x is equal to how much 1 by 2 right this is let this be equation number two why here we have here we have plus here we have minus this is like inverse type right same same type of model we have deal with previous problem previous question similarly if we can write secant x plus tan x is equal to 2 then secant x minus tan x will be 1 by 2 now what we need secant x we need therefore do one thing add equation 1 and 2 let me see let us see what we will get if we add equation 1 by 2 1, 1 and 2 then secant x plus tan x plus secant x secant x minus tan x this is minus okay this is minus tan x then what will happen plus tan x minus tan x will get cancelled then what will be left 2 secant x 2 secant x we got now what we need secant x just secant x we need but here as you can see 1 by 2 plus 2 that also we have to add 2 plus 1 by 2 what will be your final answer what will be your final answer 5 by 2 am i right 5 by 2 is your final answer so 2 secant x is equal to 5 by 2 what what we need secant x only secant x we need so secant x you keep as it is this 2 you substitute in the denominator you take at the right hand side then what it will become secant x is equal to 5 by 4 is your final answer that's all in, in just two simple steps you can get the answer see if if you practice a lot just by looking at it you can solve hope you like the video don't forget to hit the like button share with your friends and so don't forget to hit the subscribe button okay and don't forget to hit the bell button also okay see you in the next video thanks for watching